Hi guys, this is Abed at Civil Light Aviation uh, with uh, AR1. This is actually an AR1C, the convertible. Uh, it can be flown both ways, open and enclosed. So this is my personal gyro 915 AR1 and actually is for sale, but today I'm gonna concentrate on uh, these bags. People ask about, you know, where do, you, do they put their stuff in? And we have two bags that go underneath the seat. They're a pretty, you know, decent size, two of them uh, on each side of the keel tube. So you can put, you know, good amount of stuff there. But then what we have come up with is the saddle bags, the speed leather saddle bags right here that uh, I just have some packing material filled in. They go in with two straps, one here, one here. They're new print strap. They are not gonna scratch. The bags are waterproof. Uh, they are water resistant. They're made out of the same material, speed leather, marine leather. And, um, they, we have test flown them all the way to 100 miles an hour and uh, they flew just fine, not gonna scratch. And these bags are about good size, uh, um, like a small uh, carry-on in, in an airliner. And there are two of them. And you should, you'll get them as a set. And uh, they are $350 for a set. And you actually fly with both of them on. You cannot fly with one only. And uh, my uh, recommendation is to fill them up, even if you're not putting enough stuff in there, because they'll take like three jeans, probably four or five t-shirts, um, maybe uh, you know some toiletries and things like that. But my recommendation is to fill them up both, even if you have to put some packing um, material in there. So they take the shape and they provide the same resistance on both sides. Uh, in cruise, what we found is definitely they have a little bit of a drag penalty. So if I was able to go, let's say 85, 86 knots, 100 miles an hour at a certain RPM, now at the same RPM, six gallons per hour, I'm going uh, 81, 82 knots. So I lost that top three, three, three and a half knots. So five mile an hour penalty, you know, for the same fuel burn. So th there is a little penalty, but I think five mile an hour penalty for the same fuel burn, it's not too bad if you're really wanting to go for a three day, four day out and you want to put three, four jeans, pair of jeans or clothing in there on both sides. So you can take, that means you can take six pairs of jeans, you know, 10, 12 t-shirts, etc. with the other things. Then you have the inner bags as well. So it gives a nice way of uh, being able to do that without using your back seat for, uh, you know, back seat, of course, you can put 100 pounds of luggage in there if you don't have a back passenger. But if you do, and you're going for a long weekend, this, this would surprise. Uh, so that's uh, what we did today, and uh, we tested it in the uh, enclosed cockpit. It should really make no difference if it's being thrown in the open cockpit. It should be the same as far as the bag is concerned. But they were very solid all the way to 100 miles an hour. Uh, Dane flew with me, and he's making the video. So Dane, you're, how tall are you, first of all? I'm um, 6'3". 6'3", and you sat in the back seat in the canopy. How was it? You had, yeah, was, I fit perfectly fine. So. Yeah, and we are using uh, Bose uh, A20 and A30 headsets. They seem to be working very well. Um, with the MGL V6 radio, there's a couple of settings I had to f fix on that, uh, but they are working very well. And uh, yeah, it's it's really uh, like the bags provide you that, you know, three, four day trip sort of option, option for two people, um, along with the inside bags that are already there that are could be gotten. So. If you guys are interested in my gyro plane, uh, November 610 Alpha Foxtrot 915 AR1 with the canopy, it's available for sale. Uh, I'm asking 120 for it. I'll throw in training, a uh, certain amount of training for free if people want. Uh, it has 35 hours on it right now. Uh, or if you're interested in the bags, contact us for AR1. They're available for AR1 owners. They go right around the landing gear fairing, wrap around it, very secure. Um, and uh, we will get them in production for you. So uh, also the dust cover is also available. So if you're going on a cross country, you want that water resistant dust cover. You, you know, you can park outside. If rain happens, it, it will protect most of your gyroplane from any rain. All right, so Abed at Silverlight Aviation, uh, you can contact us at abed at silverlightaviation.com. That's A-B-I-D at silverlightaviation.com. Thank you.